You're listening to Lion AR on Freakum TV. Freakum, baby. Freakum, baby. Freakum, baby. Freakum, baby. Freakum, baby. Freakum. Freakum. Freakum, baby. I'm a real freak. I need a real freak. I'm a real freak. He joined us uh, in action after his, uh, after his uh, forays in Love Island. And uh, I should imagine you're looking forward massively to getting back as a, as a boxer, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. I've had a good, uh, I've had a good summer. Um, it's been yeah, a bit I'm different. Sure but, you know, it is what it is in the day. My young lad, when he got put to me at first, I just thought, do you know what? I'm 20, 19 at the time. I thought, what's, what's the rush? There's no rush at all. So taking a few months out isn't really going to do me the, the most harm. And it's something that I wanted to do. So I went on and did it. And it's, uh, it's paid off massively. Um, but I just don't want everyone to forget what I actually did before that. You know, I'm not a reality TV person. Yeah, I did it for a couple of months, Jim. I've done a few things to spin off 100%. But, you know, other than that, I am a boxer. That's what I've been doing my whole life. I've been training ever since I've been small, sparring in the gym, just doing whatever I can. And I'm, I don't regard myself as anybody when I'm sat on this table. You know, I don't, like, I see posts up there. If it was that my way, I shouldn't even be on that wall because I've done nothing as a boxer. I've had two fights, I've acclaimed nothing, so I forget about all that other stuff. It's not important. All, I mean, that, all that other stuff yeah. that must have must have changed life. I mean, for a start, you've got a partner now. You've got a girlfriend who you're still with, and like everybody else, I think who was who was in the program. So that's been a success. But the way the public, you know, they must be coming up to you and recognising you on the street. Yeah, it's a bit different when you walk down the street, of course. But you know, when you boil it down, does it really mean anything? Is it is it really going to change my life that much? If somebody asks me for a picture or an autograph or something like that. It's not really important, is it? Like, the only thing I want in life is to be a world champion. I'm not interested in anything else. Money, fame, it doesn't interest me. And you can look back to when I was a child, getting interviewed at 14, 15. I'm the same man that I was back then. Frank, it's, uh, it's an attitude, that I'm sure, which you're delighted to hear. Well, it is. You know, there's a lot of pressure on that time. Yeah. And normally a guy who's had only two fights on the card, he's down the card, and nobody really... Uh, I'm not doing disrespect, but pays that much attention. It's about learning his trade and so forth. But the spotlight's on him, so he's got to go and perform. You know, he's got, is it 2.93 million Instagram followers, so he's a very popular guy. Well liked, he, I think he's the fourth highest Google person in the UK this year. So he's got a lot of things going for him. Oh, what of But more important, we're getting you on Craggy Island. <laughs> but we got, yeah, um, the, the, uh, the thing about the thing about Tommy is that you know he does want to be a boxer. He comes from fighting stock. He's come from a fighting family, and at the end of the day, he's got a great platform now to to move forward. And what's not going to happen? He's not going to be rushed. No, that ain't happening. You know, I'm not letting that happen. He's got to learn his his trade, his craft, and that's what he'll do. And uh, hopefully, he can emulate what he's. Certainly, what his brother's done and other members of his family go on with World Time. You saw a little bit on uh, on YouTube of you in the ring with Tyson. Yes, yeah, done a little bit of sparring with Tyson. Uh, I could be the first one to say that was absolutely pointless. Uh, never landed a shot. Uh, never even looked like landing a shot. Um, but listen, this experience and it is the best in the world for a reason. And that's the reason why. Um, you know, it's just amazing. Honestly, there's no one better to spar with, is it? Because I'm learning everything I could possibly learn off him. You know, when I was small, eight, nine, I was training in Warwick to remember it like it's the other day. You know, he was teaching me how to defend body shots and all sorts of stuff, and it's just stuff that sticks with you. So, of course, uh, there's no better person to spar with, is he? Your ambition, you talked about it, to be a world champion. You, are you convinced in your heart that you have the capability of learning and progressing to that level? Yeah, a million percent. I would not be sat here right now if I didn't believe I could be a world champion. Believe me when I say that. Boxing's too hard of a game to, you know, to tip and tap like You can't do it, you've got to be all or nothing. Um, and that's just the way I think about everything. You know, of course, I'm, I will be a world champion in the future. I'm 20 years old, there's no worse at all. Baby. Baby. I'm sure those 2.9 million Instagram followers, is that the right thing? Yeah. They'll be, uh, you'll have had a fair few messages of support, won't you? Yeah, definitely. I just want to be, you know, so grateful to all the fans that have come to support me and the rest of the boys on the card. You know, it's going to be a great night of boxing. And, you know, it's just going to be an early Christmas for everybody, isn't it? Looking forward to it hugely, and uh, good luck. And uh, let's hope 2020 treats you well as well. If I could make him an Anthony Joshua today, I would be. You're so confident. I'm so confident. Yeah, I would make that fight today. People say, oh, it's too soon. I would make it. I know I'd have my money.
but he's got to still learn. Those fights obviously are not available, but he's got to learn. He is a tremendous fighter, tremendous talent, and obviously this man here to my left, Coyote, he fancies the job big time. He's a big one, isn't he? For a Japanese guy, there's no doubt about that. Uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna see what happens. Can you ask uh, Kayotaro his, his thoughts? <coughs> He's gonna have to speak to us through a translator. But can you ask him for his thoughts on this fight and how he thinks he can win it? Yes, sir, uh, just before we begin, uh, Kyotaro would like to acknowledge the hospitality uh, of the promoter, Mr. Frank Warren, and to reciprocate with a small gift from Japan, this bottle of sake. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, not, I'm not away in tomorrow, you know why. <laughs> <laughs> So, thoughts on the thoughts on the fight. えっと、このようなビッグダンスをまずは、え、すごく嬉しく思いますし、え、First, I, I just want to express how happy I, happy I am to have this big chance. Such a uh, big chance with these two belts on the line. Doesn't come around very often. Hear what he so. says, and uh, I've seen some of the uh, colorful quotes in the run up to this, and he's saying <laughs> that you've, uh, you've underestimated it, that you're looking past it. Uh, not at all, every fight, and I prepared for the World Time Championship fight, and um, never overlooked or underestimated anyone. How much have you been able to see? Have you have you studied him? Uh, the clips available on YouTube. Have you looked at him? Have you looked at him closely? Uh, not really. I've left that up to my coach and everyone else. I've been hard at work in the gym and sparring and just doing what I've done all year round. I've been active and busy, so I'm ready to go jump straight in. 2019 has been a been a great year for you, hasn't it? Kojanu, Richard Larty, the win against Nathan Gorman, which I don't really think perhaps really was appreciated for being quite the quality performance that it really was because other people boxing news included uh tipped nathan to win that one and you showed a great deal in that fight of boxing ability as well as just raw power and then ebenezer tete last time out there was plenty of raw power there it took him out in 130 seconds it's been quite a year hasn't it yeah it's been an amazing year so we yeah, just moving on past this one and then i'll be the better one next year. How excited are you when you hear your promoter, Frank, talk about the, the possibilities which are there in the future and really in the not too far distant future? No, I'm, I'm, I'm young, I'm ready to go. I'm, I've got a, a, a lot of ability and I'm ready to be pushed on now. It's just about getting the right fights and, as you says, Frank said, mapping out the group through um, managers and stuff like that. But, Frank, Frank says he put you in against Anthony Joshua tomorrow. Would you belong, Would you like to get in there against somebody of that stature? Definitely. Um, this is what I've been doing on since the day I started boxing, being in massive fights and big fights and coming through and winning them. Few people here perhaps don't realise he was named. Uh, Daniel was named British Boxing's Young Boxer of the Year. Uh, by the Boxing Writers Club, which is a prestigious award. Some great names have won it in the past, many of whom, many of whom have gone on to be world champions, Frank. They have, and uh, I'm confident, and I hope, that Daniel can emulate what they've done. Your sister as well, recently got the award as uh, Junior Sports Person of the Year with the BBC. I should imagine you're pretty proud of Caroline as well. Yeah, amazing, yeah, she's had as well. Um, She's 40 now, um, undefeated amateur, and I think she's going to go on to do amazing things in the sport of boxing, not just for women's boxing, but boxing as a whole, and become a legend. And you've got a kid brother who can fight a bit as well. Yeah, little son. <laughs> it's, 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 it's in the blood, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's in the blood. So what can we look forward to on Saturday night? You've got uh, Kiyotaro right here now. 
Tell him what he can expect on Saturday night. Oh, just as before, another devastating finish and um, another good performance.